So my name is Bruce Edmonds Jr. And six years ago, I had a major ischemic stroke, which has left me paralyzed with no arm movement in my left hand at all. But thanks to the NDIS, I've had the ability to use this amazing machine called the Omni Hi Fi. Vicky Cook, my physio, is behind the camera right now. Vicky, can you get a close up of the Omni Hi Fi? Now, this Omni Hi Fi is an assistive technology device that's available at Opal Orthotics. And you can see Allison Schenk and the team down there. And these guys can give you hope because six years ago, I was told by doctors, stroke doctors, who said to me pretty much that if you don't get any movement back within the first 12 months, nothing's gonna happen with your hand. You'll never be able to move it again. Now, Vicky, many, many years ago, was that true that people believe that? Yes, that's right. Now, what's the current belief with physios and occupational therapists in relation to that? Um, we now feel like you can get some kind of recovery um, for many months, many years after the initial stroke. I've uploaded many videos, as you know, with the Omni High Five therapy. The last probably seven or eight sessions we've had using the 30 day trial. And I've had some amazing results so far, but it's gonna take over 500,000 repetitions of this device to get some new brain pathways to be rebuilt in order to get simple things like for what me and you take for granted, such as a reach and a grasp, like opening your hand and fingers to reach for a glass of a glass of water or a remote control or anything. You know, and for me, you know the hardest thing, Vicky, was waking up six years ago in ICU you know and that happened on January 19 2014 I was 34 years old I was 33 years old at the time the you know considered one of the best and biggest DJs in Melbourne City and all of a sudden within 45 seconds I literally was paralyzed I was in the back of an ambulance, taken to the Monash Medical Center, I was in ICU, and I literally didn't know if they were gonna make it out of there for one. Ended up being in Monash for 10 days, and then at the Kingston Center for over five months at the start, they ended up back in there with a major tonic-clonic seizure, which ended me up in there for the next seven months. So all of 2014, I was in the hospital. But the emotional part of it was the fact that when a doctor came into the room and said to me, I'll never walk again. You know, Vicky, when Bupa therapy was open, and obviously that's where I met you, and I met Kathy Inglis, I met some amazing therapists down there in Miranda, and Elise, Elise Rain, who mm -hmm. was down there as well. I met Sarah, Sarah Jane Brown. Josh, I can't pronounce his surname because it's a big surname, but he's, <laughs> a, he's a great guy. But all the fantastic stuff at Booper Therapy. Ryan Ebert, who is an amazing character at the same time, a great manager who did so much at Booper Therapy. And I'm so sad that on the 29th of November, they closed down. But I gained so much through Bupa, I was able to walk without a stick. And because of you, I also got a thing called a walk aid, which I get to use this coming Friday through Opal Orthotics again, through Alison Schenk and the NDIS once again. Joanna Hall, my LAC, who I've been working with now for the last two and a half years, three years now coming up to. She's the one who's actually helped me get this far. All my doctors have said to me, 
you are miraculous in the sense that if you look at your life six years ago to where you are today, we can't believe you're the same person. You're half your weight. I was 161 kilograms when I first had my stroke, and now I weigh 80. It took a lot of work. Natasha Van Zeel, you know, my fist was like this. That was my left hand. I couldn't open it at all. Like, it was to the point that I couldn't open it. And the fact now that I can actually open my palm, and now without without crying, and crying in tears, you know, and you think I'm joking when I say that. Imagine opening your hand just to open your hand like that. It was like ripping, ripping your hand and tendons open every single day in, in agony. I cried to my dad and said to him, it hurts too much. Every time I yawned, my wrists would bend to the point that it would freeze and it would lock in this position and I couldn't release it. I was too scared to yawn. But now my wrist was released as well. So now we're working so hard right now in physio and occupational therapy to get my hand to work again using the Omni i5. If I can show something quickly, if we put it back on the ETS, if I sat here and I thought about moving my wrist just up and down, will that work? Um, yeah, I'll have to put it on the ETS. Just keep recording because I want to keep talking about this. You know, people do talk about stroke recovery being just a physical aspect, you know, of... Get yeah, sleep down quite a lot. Someone That's okay, we'll fix that. But people talk about stroke recovery being just about physical, you know? Like I said, I woke up being normal one day. Absolutely normal, like you walking, talking, and just being normal. I lost my speech. I had to learn to talk again properly. I couldn't string together all my words fast enough. My sisters used to say to me, your voice is getting better, it's getting stronger. It's saying it's too loose. So we need to tighten it. 